Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9. In this video, we're gonna go over the new banner that just dropped featuring Matt and Yuffie. And I'm gonna go ahead and get right into that. Not gonna really talk about any of the other updates. I might do a separate video on Leviathan and the new event. Uh, so we'll kind of get to that maybe later. Um, so we'll jump right in here and I will start with Yuffie. And the first thing I will say is I hate this costume. Just calling it like I see it. Uh, this is like the most homely looking outfit that they could have possibly made. Uh, and I do not mean that in a good way. So for anybody who is uh, complaining about Tifa being over sexualized, uh, this, I guess, is the other end of that, in my opinion. Uh, like, I don't even know what this is. OK, but let's look at the actual uh, gear and what it does. Hawkeye is the weapon and I can tell you just right off the bat, this is really good uh, as far as earth damage goes or really any elemental type weapon. I think this is going to be the strongest one you're going to find. If you look at 850%, as long as she's above 70% HP, it does 20% more damage, which means 1020% physical earth damage. That's humongous that dwarfs every other elemental damage dealing weapon in the game right now. Uh, that is very good. And if we compare it briefly to Lucia, who has the only other Earth Arcanum, you can see Holiday Revolver, uh, that's what she had, and 4639, which are the same stats as this Yuffie weapon, only hers is physical attack, and it caps out at 800%. Caps out at 800%, has a circle sigil break, and coming to this weapon again, 850 plus 1.2 times damage as she's over 70% HP, has the circle sigil break. So this is just pure power creep over what we had for Lucia. And Shinobi Hawk, <laughs> I don't I don't really get a super Shinobi vibe out of this, but whatever. Um, Earthblade Arcanum, we know that's good. It's only the second person to get an Earth. Arcanum that I can think of. I think Lucia was the only other one, uh, which is around Christmas time. <laughs> then we have boost physical ability potency on this, which I think is quite good. This is, you know, really just setting her up to be a physical damage dealer if you're going to use her for this. And if you were going to put the earth stuff on her, then that makes sense. So I think this is a great banner for Yuffie. I don't use Yuffie in my teams, although maybe that will change. I've got OB6 Boomerang. Never, never put it on a wish list, but I've got it now. So that might change things for me uh, slowly. But if you are a Yuffie fan, I think this is a great banner for her. Coming over to Matt. Um, first, I just want to say complete opposite. I love this costume. I mean, I, I think it's just really good. I love the like, I don't know. It's like a doctor theme thing kind of going on here. I love the sword. This syringe, I think this is the kind of stuff that's just like super creative and really just, I don't know, adds a sense of a sense of flair that makes this really awesome. Even you can even see at the end here. I mean, it really is a syringe. So I'm a really big fan of what they've done there. Syringe rapier is what it's called. And what I really like about this weapon, I think it's really, really good. And it's, again, the power creep is just very, very obvious here. So right out of the box, as long as he's above 50% HP, magic defense and physical defense increase mid potency 10 seconds. That is truly amazing, I think, on its own. Comparing it again to an older weapon that did something similar, we would look at Aerith, we would go to something like Mithril Rod and at five stars it's the same thing physical defense and magical defense there's no limiting factor here with hp but this is just low potency and so a lot of the time honestly this is a weapon that i used to use like in the very very beginning but the problem is that low potency and for five atb it just you know doesn't really work that well uh not it's not practical and then it's got magic defense and lightning resist whereas here we come with that power creep. This one is 4 ATB for double the potency right out of the box at five stars and boost HP and buff debuff extension, which is 
amazing because it's exactly what you want for this kind of buff. And so if you main hand this, just having those 12 points is 40% more, which means it's 14 seconds. Uh, I really like it, really like it. In fact, the only thing I don't like about it is it kind of makes his um, limit break, you know, the one, the, the gigantic shield kind of makes it useless. Yeah, the duration's better on the limit, but geez, is that really what you want to do? Like, I'll use my limit just so I can get an extra, you know, eight seconds or something. Uh, seems, I don't know, like they need, they need to buff his limit if they're going to come out with weapons as strong for him. But otherwise, it's a great weapon. It's even got a cure all here in the third slot on the materia. I, I think that's awesome. I think this is, you don't even really need to get this to OB6. I mean, these R ability stats are nice, right? 40 HP at, R, at OB6 is really good. Um, OB10, not really that impressed here. And also note that no matter how high you get it, it never starts out at higher potency than mid. Uh, but it can stack to high starting at OB6, it looks like. And maybe it would stack to high earlier. It's hard to say, but for what we know for sure, it's OB6. Um, but I don't think you need it that much, right? Uh, or that high. I think this is probably as good as you mostly need it to be. Because a lot of times you're using this to clear debuffs more than just buff your team. At least with the summon battles that we've seen. So I really like that. And Aidman's White Coat. That's his costume. Um... Boost heal, I'll just start with the, the, I guess the cons or what I'm not that impressed with. Boost heal on an outfit plus 10 points is okay. It's just, it's fine, but not really, I don't know, not something I use. I have Aerith that does a similar thing and I don't really use it very often. Why? Because typically I need the HP, which is why boost HP plus 15, I think is huge. Um, that's plus 150 plus 30% just from this which is a huge a huge boost over the ones that only give 10 because that's what normal boost HPR abilities are plus 10 in fact I from what I can remember I think this is the first time we've seen a plus 15 and there's a huge difference between a plus 10 and a plus 15 I mean it's it's literally like almost somewhere around two and a half to three times better so yeah, I, I think this is a good outfit. I don't think it's a must-have, but I definitely think it would make things a lot easier. Um, ultimately, because of the way my team comps kind of work and because I'm sitting only on 21,000 crystals, I'm going to keep saving. But I do think if I were going to pull, I'd be trying to get this rapier and going for probably Yuffie's costume. That's That's probably where I would be. Uh, but I don't have an Earthblade Arcanum, so that also is kind of a reason for that. I'd like to know your thoughts and whether or not you're pulling. Um, one other reason that that I'm not pulling is, and this is just because, you know, I was playing Leviathan, and <sighs> I'll get into this more maybe in another video, but just briefly, you know, I could clear all the way up to Very Hard 3 without almost any problems. And then I get to EX1, and it is just suddenly, like, insane right i don't think i even got him down to below like 75 percent hp and the thing is you it, it says that physical lightning attacks are good against him um we only have like maybe one or two two at most uh lightning damage that are physical lightning damage weapons and i can only really think of one which is mirasame and i can only think of one lightning arcanum as well which is the mirasame battle guard so I really think with all of that and how difficult they've made that, that one of the next couple of banners coming up probably will feature maybe some physical lightning stuff and maybe another lightning Arcanum, which is something that I would be very interested in, especially because we have Ramu. We do not have an Earth Summon yet. So that is something that I would be you know really into. All right, that's all I've got today. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.